Mike starts off this hour in Indianapolis. Hey, Mike. Hi, Dave. Thanks for taking my call. Sure, man. What's um, up? I've got, a compl- I've got a complicated question, but I'll try to make it as short as I can. Okay. My wife and I have a 20-year-old friend that she met through Big Brothers Big Sisters. And several years ago, and the 20-year-old now has a one-year-old daughter, and she just asked us for $35 for diapers, which we gave her, and we thought that was a loan. And then a couple weeks later, she asked us for $55 to get a rental facility because she has to move out of her apartment. She's also posted pictures of vodka and cigarettes on her Facebook page. So she's not making the right choices with her money, mm-hmm. but she needs help, and my wife and I don't know what to do. Okay. Well, my rule is real simple. If someone is bold enough to ask me for my money, I'm bold enough to attach uh, requirements with the money that are for their own good. And okay. you know what's weird? One of two things will happen. They will welcome the help, or they'll get mad that you're interfering in their business. And so my help in this situation sounds like this. I'm not, I don't want to make her any loans. I do want to give her some money. This is a girl that didn't have a strong upbringing. She's struggling. She's already made a whole series of bad choices is what you're describing to me, right? Right. And so we've got to get her on a path where she's making has better thinking and, therefore, better choices. And, and how are we going to do that? Well, you know, this is a whole lot more than... Just am I going to give somebody 35 bucks for diapers? Uh, the answer to that's easy, yes. Uh, but I'm going to do it in the form of a, a, a grocery store gift card, which most of those do not allow alcohol and cigarette purchases. Most of okay. them limit them to other types of purchases. Um, or I'll go buy the diapers and take them to them, one of the two. Uh, that, that, so that's okay. a simple thing. But what you're, what you're more than anything pointing out is there's, you've realized that you're giving a drunk a drink meaning she's, she's going to always have money problems until she corrects some of these, uh, you know, so, some of these bad, uh, her bad thinking that's leading to bad choices. Is that right? Okay. And so what I yeah. would do is say, hey, I'm going to do better than that. What I'm going to do is um, I'm going to help you lay out your budget. Uh, we're we're going to pay for you to go through Financial Peace University, and you have to go to the class. And, um, and then we're going to walk with you, and a- as we look at your budget with you and see what you're spending the money on, as long as you stick to what, we are, uh, what we're telling you you need to do for your own good, uh, then we'll try to help you out occasionally with stuff with a gift. Okay. And, and, and you know, that's assuming, that's assuming you can financially help somebody with a gift. But, I mean, 50 or 100 bucks is a big deal in this kid's life. Right. But giving it to her without any kind of requirement that she think better and that she live better is enabling. It's not helping. But she lives like two hours away. How do you verify what she's doing? Uh, okay. I didn't know that part. Um, I thought okay. I thought you said she was big brother, big sister, so I figured she was in your neighborhood. Yeah. But, uh, well, I mean, you, she, not, she, how's she asking? By email? By text. By text? By text message. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I mean, l- let's set her up with financial. Let's set her up with Financial Peace University, and get in, and then ask her when she goes to class who the coordinator is, and that the coordinator can coach her and can stay in contact with you. Okay. And verify and and hold her accountable and verify the good deci- the good thinking and the good decisions. Something okay. like that. But I mean, th- it's just a question. Let me just tell you, helping people, really helping them, is a lot more work than just throwing money at them, which actually doesn't help them. Right. Because it, 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 you have to get it down in their mess with them and walk with them out of the mess, and, and the mess is they're stinking thinking, <laughs> as Zig Ziglar used to say. Yeah. And so, yeah, you just set up a thing where you, somehow your your money is influencing her life to be better, not just throwing money at because her, her problem, if she's got vodka and cigarettes sitting there, her problem is not lack of money for diapers. Her problem is mismanagement. And it might be money. But if you choose vodka and cigarettes over your kid's diapers, then it means you need to be smacked. Silly. Repeatedly. 
<laughs> you know, I mean, it's just dumb. Who does that? People do it every day. They do it every day. That's who does that. And, and so, you you know, your job, your wife took this girl on as a mentor. Or if you're not going to do that, I'd suggest you just cut her loose. Just cut her loose. No, I'm not going to help you. Because I'm not going to throw money at this situation if you're not going to do this stuff. And you could, you could even say if she's got some debt, she's got some things, okay, every time you pay off this much, we'll put some with it to help you pay it off. You can do matching. Or you match towards savings. Uh, you could set up a $25 a month thing that you're the custodian of for her kid to go to college. I mean, you can do all kinds of stuff that doesn't take a lot of money, but that is a lot of money in her world and allows you to have influence with her to, to force her to change her thought patterns and her habits and her behaviors. But again, that's a lot of work. I mean, that's loving somebody well, and it's always more work to love them well.